This is five on your side at six, focused on you. Tonight, the man accused in a decades-old cold case is in custody. About three hours ago, investigators held a news conference on how they found the man they've charged with killing and dismembering Deanne Howland in 2004. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The Major Case Squad says Mike Clardy of Maryland Heights admitted to killing Howland at his former home in St. Ann. Her torso was found at a rest stop near Wright City. To break it all down for us, Five on Your Side's Laura Barcheski joins us live from Warrenton. And Laura spoke with Howland's daughter about getting justice for her mom. Laura. I did, Mike and Ann. Now she tells me that she will never have closure because nothing can bring her mom back, but she does believe they will finally have justice. During the Major Case Squad News Conference, investigators talked about the importance of DNA technology that ultimately led them to first being able to identify Howland's body in 2016. Her torso had been dumped at a rest stop in Wright City in 2004. Detectives found DNA on Howland's remains and were able to tie it to Mark Clarity, who's been charged with her murder. Through their investigation, they learned Howland was a sex worker and had an argument with Clarity, which led to her death. Howland's daughter, Ashley Kinnear, says she was only 12 when she lost her mom and was so grateful the investigators worked for 19 years to get justice. And just because of what she had to do to get by, doesn't affect, you know, she was still my mom. She was still a person. She still had friends. She still had a life outside of what she did to get by. So I like to bring that back, and I like that a lot of this has brought back that human to her. Kinnear says she will always remember her mom as a wonderful, loving person. Clarity is being held in the Warren County Jail on a $1 million bond. Reporting live in Warren County, Laura Barcheski, 5 on your side.